CBS 13 is on storm watch tonight after a day of rain, thunder and lightning shakes up the valley and beyond. The rain heavy at times swept through the region, hitting Stockton, Sacramento and all the way up to the foothills and the Sierra. The downpour prompting a flood advisory lifted just hours ago. Still, it was quite the light show in Rancho Cordova. Rainbow, yeah, but also lightning and thunder filling the skies. And with the wet weather comes problems on the road. Slick conditions caused a crash on I-80 up in the Truckee area, blocking lanes for hours. In Stockton, a tree came crashing down on a home. Luckily, no one was hurt. Earlier today, SMUD reported scattered outages affecting about 1,700 customers. Now that number is down to just under 200 without power. So lots going on tonight. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrian Moore. Dave Bender is in the Weather Center for us, tracking it all. Dave? Pretty crazy. I mean, it's day three of the rainy season, and we actually are off to a pretty good start. Now, officially around Sacramento, we didn't pick up a whole heck of a lot. But if you were under a thunderstorm, you saw rainfall rates. And watch this over the last six hours. Lots of lightning strikes, but rainfall rates between one to two inches per hour. So some locations, especially out in the foothills, saw upwards of a half inch, possibly pushing three quarters to maybe one inch of rain as far as totals from all of this. So how do we stand right now? A little light radar action over toward the west of Sacramento. It's all now moving from the west to the east, where earlier today it was all going from the south up to the north. So we'll go up a little bit to the north and to the east here, and you can see it's all coming down in the form of rain. However, in the higher elevations, it is trying to transition at around 9,500 feet or so over to a little bit of snow. So we could have a little wintry mix for tomorrow before we get this low out of here. And this low now is all the way down pushing into Southern California and almost into Northern Mexico. It will exit and we'll start to dry things out. And then we need to focus in on something that we classically get at this time of the year. Low pressure going by, high pressure building in and some windy weather in between. When will we get elevated fire danger after this wet weather event? We'll time it all out for you through the show. But boy, uh, day three of the wet weather season off to a pretty amazing start here in October. Back over to you. It sure is. Dave, mm -hmm. thanks. CBS 13 Sharon Roger has been chasing storms all day long. She enjoys us now live in Rockland. Sharon. Yeah, Tony and Adrian, it's calm right now, but just about an hour ago, it was pouring out here in Rockland. Just a wild day, heavy rain, lightning strikes, drivers adjusting to this wet weather, and after months of no rain, some people were just caught off guard. It was coming down and coming down hard. This Rockland shopping center parking lot experienced some minor flooding during the night's downpour. Did you expect all this rain? No, I did not. <laughs> that was the funny part. I only have a jacket without a hood. I knew it was going to rain, but I didn't expect all that lightning. Throughout the day, heavy rain and thunderstorms made their way north over the Sacramento region, bringing with it a spectacle in the sky for many drivers. It started getting really dark, and then all of a sudden, a lightning show. So, I mean, every, like... Probably minute, I probably saw at least one or two bolts of lightning. All the thunder and lightning, it scared myself and the cats. After months of no rain, for the first time, we were seeing wet roads and conditions many were not used to driving in. We don't know how to drive in the rain, most of us, when it's been sunny for so long. Here in Stockton, a resident shared this video of heavy rain outside her home earlier. And these pictures of a tree falling on this Stockton home. The homeowner, Peter, says a six foot branch cut through his roof and made a hole in his house. The trees were blowing and uh, the, everything was going crazy. Despite the wild weather, some were just not prepared. Sir, it's raining. You're wearing a tank top. Right? It's awesome. It feels great. I was out here almost naked a little while ago. <laughs> Conditions did cause a number of accidents on the roads. Truckee CHP tweeted out this photo of a jackknife truck blocking lanes on I-80 westbound. You almost kind of have to be careful with your speed and all that, so you're not, you're not, you're not, you know, slipping or sliding. And again, because we haven't seen rain in quite some time, there's a lot of oil on the roads. And with these wet conditions, Caltrans is asking everyone to slow down, turn on those headlights, and make sure those windshield wipers are working. Some good advice. Sharon Roger, live for us in Rockland. Thanks.